but you know, Johnny Depp's a really interesting example of that because, you know, he ended up suing me and the son in the UK courts and Amber Heard gave evidence on our behalf. So that was the UK case. Now we won that case, right? And then he won in, in the US when it was directly against Amber Heard. But the whole reason that court case happened was because of an online headline that called Johnny Depp a wife beater. Now, I had never written the words wife beater, ever. I'm not lying and saying that the column wasn't critical of Johnny Depp. It was. But I'd never called him a wife beater. So you can imagine my frustration around that, right? And that's what I mean by the newspaper sausage factory production process. Someone on what they call the back bench. It's newspaper terminology right in the UK for the person who writes the headlines. And don't get me wrong, these people at The Sun, they are geniuses, like they're so clever. Like they come up with some of the best headlines in the world. Like Megxit was created for my story at The Sun by one of those genius people on the back bench. So they're great. But in that case, they caused <laughs> huge huge issues for me because it's on my story do you know what i mean it's got my name on the story but i never called johnny depp a wife beater how is that then like you say interviewing all these people because it, the last few years all kind of got messy like the johnny depp thing was that court case because of that headline was mm. that all through that headline yeah so basically he i think he wanted i mean look loads of things had been written about him all around the world. But he chose my story to make his line in the sand. And I do believe it was because of the headline that called him a wife beater. Um, but as I say, the story was tough. And I've admitted my regret now in ever getting involved in Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. And by the way, like that isn't me turning on Amber. It's really, really not. Um, because that was your friend, didn't you? I wouldn't say she's a friend. I mean, I would literally never met her, but obviously she then gave evidence in court on my behalf. So I got to know her. Our politics are completely different, right? We're on the other ends of the political spectrum. She's very woke. She's very lefty. But yeah, I liked her. I liked her. I got to know her. Really liked her. And I think she's had a really unfair time, genuinely. And I think we're all going to look back in 20 years' time and think, whoa, we treated Amber Heard like we treated Britney Spears. You know, it's tough. And how would people have felt if Amber Heard had committed suicide over the coverage that she received, you know? So but the sad rally is because of that court case and it was shown on TV, I don't think people would have been asked because it all went against her. I know. And the thing is, I didn't even know. It was 2011, they met. She was only 22 and he mm. was 50. I only thought it was a couple of years mm. ago because of the court case that it was just kind of coming to a head then. Like she was, and I'm not sticking up for her taking sides because I love Johnny Depp. The guy did lose 40, 50 million, whatever it is. I don't know the ins and yeah. outs, but I did see a lot of stuff online and the court case and it made it was a very toxic relationship. Yes. The both of them are to blame yes. to a certain degree, million percent from what I've seen. But... She was only 22 yeah, and yeah. he was in his 50s. I think she was to go to an audition and he was the producer and they kind of met her and that's where the relationship stemmed yes, from. And it was that movie, um, God, what was it called? Something about rum. I saw it actually. And look, what my issue is, is that, and this was the bad side of me as a tabloid columnist, right? is I chose to insert myself into that story completely unnecessarily. Like, why am I getting involved? I don't know what happened. I don't have any particular insight. I call it a carnival of commentary. You know, I got involved in that carnival of commentary. Loads of journalists did, but Johnny chose me as the line in the sand, as the person who he wanted to take to court. At the time, I thought that was a crazy decision, right? I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? All of your dirty laundry is going to be aired in court. And it was. And come on, that case was not good for 
either of them. The text messages were awful. It was just awful, the whole thing. But, and this is the big but, I have now seen how an ex can try and destroy you with completely untrue allegations just because they hate you so much, because they want to bring you down, because they cannot stand that you have had success after them. And it's just made me so much more wary about ever getting involved in something like that. I think it has to follow due process. You know, so so my view is, is that Amber had legal recourse. She had the option to go to the police. She didn't want to at the time. It should have been dealt with that way. Then the media should have backed off because there was nothing criminal against Johnny. We didn't. I didn't. My column was actually about J.K. Rowling, and that that gets lost in all of this. It was, it actually wasn't even about Johnny Depp. Basically, I was accusing J.K. Rowling of being a hypocrite because do you remember Johnny Depp was in the Fantastic Beasts franchise, and J.K. Rowling had stood by Johnny Depp, but at the time, J.K. Rowling was big in the Me Too movement and saying we should believe all women. Now, I don't believe that. I don't believe we should believe all women. I don't believe we should believe all men. It's like it's got to be case by case and it's got to be based on evidence and, and fact. But I was wrong on, I, I was wrong to get involved. That's my point. It, I was wrong to get involved. It was very different to other stories that I'd reported on. So for example, if you look at the other big stories I've been involved in, the controversial ones, mm -hmm. which are like Meg Sis and Harry and Meghan, or the Philip Schofield story, I was I knew everything about those stories. I was involved in those stories. Do you know what I mean? I was talking to the people who were involved. I had actual journalism. You know, I revealed all of the big things about Harry and Meghan and the royal family and Schofield at this morning. So that was different because I knew stuff that added to the story. With Johnny and Amber, I didn't know enough. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I just made a judgment and I should not have got involved in it. And I think Johnny felt like, and obviously at the time I thought he was idiotic for doing this and I wrote about it and his fans will never forgive me. They will never, ever forgive me, the Depp heads. But now I understand that he basically felt like this was the only way for him to clear his his name. Mm -hmm. And you can understand the depths that he went through, like you yeah. say, but they didn't do anything.